I'm sick and tired of Dan talking smack about, ooh, I got the best rig. Ooh, I'm gonna take down Tim in 2023. Here's the deal. It's late, it's a Friday night. I got the man, I got him pinned down, and we're scheming to just do everything I can to, to inch ahead in 2023. Everything is on the chopping block this year, like, Chopping block, stabilizers, chopping block, releases, chopping block, cams, I mean. Let's ruin Dan's weekend. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do some shopping here at Spokane Valley Archery. If you wanna shop online, you can go to portymarcher.com. Ding! Maybe we'll eventually get you to get Josh to give us a discount code for you guys. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> Ding! Oh, um, there you go, that's, that's, one, that's an option. We can oh. probably work that out. I think, I mean, I think Josh likes us and I think he likes you guys, so ding! We'll work on it. I want a new site. I like my site. Let's describe the problem really quick. So you hold that. Sure, gotcha. I like what I got here. Put the clock on. We're gonna go from 20 to 100. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Okay, for the point of the video, I'm at 20 to 50 and that was however long it takes. So I, I like the site, honestly, I think it's very nice. I just would like to be able to slide faster for the purpose of 3D. Well, let's get you something different. We're gonna go shopping. One thing I've learned in my history of shooting my bow is not to be the defiant child with Josh. <laughs> it does take a little while for most of you to figure that out. Yeah, I, I got this idea, I got that idea. Or you can just listen, it's up to you, totally fine. I'm just gonna listen, lean on him and we're gonna, we're gonna go with what you think is cool. Well, if you wanna be able to cover all your axes relatively well and still move up and down relatively quickly, you cannot beat a landslide. There's nothing that functions better. It does the job exactly how you want it to do. And we just happen to have a lot of them right now, so that doesn't hurt. And they also do sell the landslide without a head. So if you wanna use an ultra view head or a shrewd head or somebody else's scope. Ding! on the front of your site. You can very well do that and you don't have to pay extra to remove a part. So we just happen to have right here a landslide with no head on it. I wanna say these are $339.99 on the website. We get 50 of these a month. Kiddos, if you're going to TAC, this is a really great thing to have. And if you're a bridge lock guy with Matthews, you need a bridge lock adapter. This doesn't just go on, you run out of left and right. So we need one of these little $25 doodads to move your site to the appropriate position okay. for Matthews. If we're to give like a gold star of approval, like the Podium Archer, www.whatdoigototackwith.com, <clears throat> where does this sit? This is number one. Um, if you, these just are hard to get. That's the reality of it. If your shop isn't selling these, it's because they can't get them. I've had these on order for like a year and a half and they're finally started flowing in and I'm getting orders from that time period. Your shop probably doesn't have this. It's hard to find, hard to beat. Best thing you can possibly have for shooting distance. Period. My only, my only beef with this site is nothing with Excel. It's just, I think Dan has it on his bow. He does. And he I, does. I try not yeah. to do what Dan does, but also I'm trying to be a good listener. So hey, if I gotta take them down with the same equipment, that's cool. We'll take you through the installation process. Uh, Let's get it on there. With the mad professor here. We'll get it on, we'll, we'll work on getting it sighted in. Let, let me know what other sites you guys would like to see us test this year. Everything really is on the chopping block and I know some of the stuff that we mess with is higher end and I, I do think if we're just addressing an elephant in the room really quick, we get a little spoiled because we're a long way down the rabbit hole now and we've tried a lot of stuff. So if, if you're new to archery or whatever, just start shooting stuff, Get have a have a, a bow sight. As you whittle down the rabbit hole, you can, you know, work towards wherever, but yeah, we'll go get this thing on. Okay, one cool thing here is I do like my UltraView sight. We're gonna take, and we're gonna go swip swap. Can we get you to, can we get to drop a like on the video for Josh working late on a Friday? Well, it's only 6.15. I've only been here since 7 a.m. That's not bad. It's not that bad. That's not bad. This will be the fourth video I've made today. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Busy, busy. Wow, he does have a YouTube channel. Podium Archer YouTube. He helps us with our gear. A lot, a lot. Uh, everyone asks like, well, what, well, what's the thing I can do to get more out of my bow set up? And one of the first things you can do is have a super tuned arrow. Josh, do you tune the arrow to the bow or the bow to the arrow? <laughs> <laughs> tune the, the arrow to the bow, not the bow to the arrow. And can you tune any arrow to any bow? No, you have to have relatively close to the right arrow to begin with. Can There's you tune a... any properly spined arrow to the bow? Yes. 
period. Okay. Absolutely. Uh -huh. The of it is you want something that's more that's appropriate for the application in which you're using. You'd be amazed. Most of these things, when you set them right and the wheel leans right, you're not hardly touching anything. It's just a lot of times the bow's not set right to begin with or the wheel lean isn't right to begin with, and that's where your problem arises. And you can try to fix that by using a way too stiff of arrow or that sort of thing to straighten it out. There's something wrong with your bow originally. Get the bow fixed correctly and then shoot that really heavy arrow or that longer arrow or whatever you want to do. And welcome to Spokane Valley Archery After Dark, where you don't have to subscribe to OnlyFans. And every now and then we get a cool shop dog in here and getting ready for 2023, which is a big year, a big year for us. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Huge. How many subscribers are you going to have by the end of the year, Tim? I'm hoping to have 100K by summer. Well, it's it would be nice to have that giant free tournament in the summer. That'd be cool. The world's greatest freest archery tournament. If we, if we hit it in September, we are not doing it then. <laughs> no. You're going to have to wait until the spring or something. We're not doing it when the weather's bad or when it's hunting season. So run it up. Too run bad. it up. Get us to 100K and yeah. let us let us have that tournament before summer. We, The world's greatest freest archery tournament. Details unlocked at 100,000 subscribers. We're going to host it here with our guy. Yeah, we're doing it. Big community event. We just, once we get there, we'll, we'll announce the details and get you invited here. I don't know, the bigger the crowd gets, the more I get stoked about it because there's just a lot of like-minded peers that are help pushing the ship. Like a lot of you guys don't realize like you kind of are the wind in our sails a lot of times. I get excited about doing stuff like this because we have a sweet community of people, so. It is very true. It's Shout like, out to you guys. Like 99.9% .9 of you people are awesome. There's like one out of a thousand of you as a Karen, but outside of that, you're all pretty freaking great. Yeah. And I, I didn't want to do this originally. And the response that I got from when I started helping with these things is what made me do it. That and seeing the lack of information and knowledge that's out there. So because of the way this community has been supportive has made me do what I'm doing. So thank you for being supportive. I really appreciate it. Thank you every Karen out there for giving me fuel to fire to make me work harder. I appreciate that as well. You're using an ultra view you will need this dowel to put into that head to fit onto this site. However, you can also use the stock dowel that comes with it and a really long screw and a nut, but this is a much cleaner setup. If you're budgeting, you can always go with the screw option, right? Yeah, you just gotta find a long enough screw and a nut. Screw and a nut. This is a little cleaner setup. We like clean. We're spoiled a little bit. Yeah. We like clean other than the garbage bail bow here. You don't like that level of clean. I see people on the range out here and they're like, they're stoked on this, so. It's 50-50. For what you were trying to do, you did a very good job. Yeah. That's not what I would do, but that's <laughs> yeah. okay. That's okay. Still shoots bullets. It is a very good shooting bow. Yeah. You've got a light kit, which is removable. If you're in a situation where you can't legally use a light, you can still hunt with it. You've got a nice little double pin set up in there. You can get it with a single pin, and you can take this cartridge out and put a lens cartridge in instead. So you can do all kinds of different things with this and still use the same setup, which is really cool. Yeah, we got to move the old bridgey locky over for the match use. So you take off this assembly. Oh, and that's what this is? Yep, and that moves the head over. Okay. The appropriate windage. And if you didn't use that, is there a chance it would work or no? No. Uh, and if you had a small enough head, you might have enough windage in it, but they state to use a math using this that you need to use this part. What does this cost? Uh, they're $25. Okay. Not a super sophisticated thing. No, it's just a bracket, huh? It's just a bracket. Because these things weren't originally made or intended to go through a riser, they were made to, originally intended to go on the outside of a riser. So we're gonna, for it. We're going to start here relatively yeah, close. Where do you, in. well, it's up to you. I can move wherever you want. Well, I'll just make I think sure that's I about that. where I had it. Do it, do it. You happy? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so we're on things. the rail. We're on the rail. We're level. We're level, and then our head's not level, so we need to adjust these things that are a really big pain in the butt when we did dance these, to get at these ones? that one and mm -hmm. that one. So we're going to move this. You see why they'd be a pain in the butt. Yeah, they're, in, they're just in the way is all. There's a, there we go, there's a lock. Then we gotta move your scope head over and then re-level it, because I'm grabbing it and reefing on it, it's moving. But get at those screws oh, there, because now they're where you can get at them. But this is something we probably and then you, do once. You'll do it once and you'll never do it again. Okay. And then we need this little one. If you don't own one of these, you need one so of these. So if we're giving Excel feedback, because we like being honest, we would tell them that. It's a terrible place to put your leveling screws. <laughs> yeah. But they know that. Found the right one. So stubby there is it necessary. Goes. Stubby is mandatory. Well, you could get a really long one in here too, if you had leverage. But the stubbies are just, they fit in a lot of these things that most things don't. 
So what you want to do is loosen it all up and then kind of snug it just a little bit so it'll hold still when and you move we're it. Trying to level we're level trying to match this here. one to this one now, and that looks about perfect. Oh, that's looking pretty good there. Let me get it in focus. Yeah. Got good it. Job, yeah. Tighten that back down. And oh, look at how fast that moves up and down, Tim. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Think of how many more six shots I can get for the boys now. For the boys! <laughs> Think of how many more six shots I can get since I won't be adjusting my sight the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fabricated this little thing here so I could check it at full draw. Draw board. It also happens to work with the <laughs> press when it's on it. Now we have a bow at full draw. Rotate it up at an angle, there so it doesn't rotate back. And you're now shooting a downhill angle and you can actually put levels on it and check. Your most bow risers will have a spot that's perpendicular and square to the string. And on a Matthews, it's right here. So you tighten that little feller down, nice and snug. And then you rotate the bow till that bubble reads level. Just rotate the angle it sits at, nothing else. Now that bubble's good and Timmy's bubble's good. So his third axis is actually set pretty darn good. Over in fact, I think I want to move it a tiny bit. It's super close, but it's not perfect. See? Well, we got to beat up Dan, you know, <laughs> can't, can't leave a point on the board. I'd have every point for the old 300 yard shooter. All right, so we are perfect to the world on all the levels. So we'll set this back down. This is micro and we're gonna put it right back into the middle. So here, an optimal uh, amount of left to right micro adjustment. And then we're gonna use- And then we're gonna use that screw and the dowel and slide it left to right to where uh -huh. we think it lines up. Uh -huh. I like yeah. it. Well, so- That's you, a pro tip. So you're not leaving, you're selling yourself short on the, what the site's adjustment exists to be. We don't to wanna be. sell ourselves short. No, we don't. Yeah, I think that's a good starting point. You should be pretty close on the left to right. And I got dual needles, so that's sick. You got right? dual needles for the dual pins and just that's set them sick. to that gap and voila two movers so you can totally hunt with this thing without yeah. any issue you ready to sight it in son back to the sight tape game Boom. we're gonna sight it in and uh get this thing sight taped out so dan doesn't know that i swapped out my bow sight he knows i'm coming in the rear view mirror form so i want to go show dan my new bow sight and see what he thinks Usually I knock at this one. We'll, we'll see if we can find it. I didn't tell him I'm coming, by the way. Can we send Dan out? Uh, oh. oh, perfect. I'll go find him. Try it number one. No bueno. Try number two. Let's we'll see if we can find this guy. Doesn't stop working either. Always doing something, this Dan. Studio is what Alicia told me. That's where we film stuff sometimes. Look at the mad scientist go here, guys. Check out this second gen Hamski tool, man. You just put it on here like so. We're gonna check third axis. I did a thing this morning that uh, you're gonna like. Well, Maybe here, you check won't. Check out my thing first. What's your thing? Check it out. You son of <laughs> Why you gotta do that? I told Josh that I needed, I needed the best site for tack and this is what he set me up with. Did you see any of the comments on the short I made on the landslide? No. I, I got some salties. They're like, must be nice to have everything sent to you and change out and say that this site's better. Why do I always change my voice when I'm imitating? <laughs> Maybe they're like, must be nice to get free free sites. Did, did you get that for free? Because I sure as shit didn't. No, this, I didn't get it for free. This landslide's expensive, but I'm going to tell you right now. I put it on the 33 and I was shooting the 33 really well. And then I just happened to pick up this 29 this morning and be like, hey, I need to shoot the 29. I just like the 29 better. It, it's 20 feet a second faster. It's made for short dudes. I'm short, in case you guys couldn't tell on the internet. My groups are just the same with both bows. And I'm like, well, I'd rather carry a 29 around in the elk woods. So that's what I'm gonna do. Survey says this one. Let's go to the target and find out. I just can't believe you're actually putting arrows in a quiver. Hip quiver. What, do, what all could we stash in here? Camera, tripod. This is my little baby camera tripod. Most people would put a Nalgene bottle, but you know, I'm a camera guy, so camera tripod. And necessities for tack, energy drinks. Who's our winner? Zach Church. Shout out to you, Zach. Love the ABT guys. You're all super motivating, even for me as a whitetail hunter out east. Guys, we love everybody. We love all hunters. United, not divided. 
Shout out to Kafaro for being cool, sending one for me and one for Zach. They even gave you a discount code if you want to have one of these handy little guys. This is the Super Deluxe. Got all the fixins. Elk shape 15 if you want to go buy one. And not put your arrows in your back pocket. It's kind of nice. And I'm like, well, the spot hog's heavy, and I really like this four pin Excel. So I'm putting it on, I'm putting the four pin Excel on my uh, 29. I'm gonna put the Canyon Pounder on the 33 just to do a review for you guys and to help my friend Dan Evans out. But other than that, I think I'm hunting with the landslide this year, dude. Like, is it too early to make that announcement? Tell us about the landslide, man, because like, uh, I think you're copying me. I think I was, I had it before you. Well, I told Josh that was the biggest reason I didn't want to landslide, but I had to suck up my pride and do it for the, I had to do it for Takedown Dan. I gotta have the best, I gotta have the best odds of doing this. That, the best site gives me the best odds. I'll tell you the bonus to this that is the landslide's got a little bit of weight to it, and that little bit of weight actually helped steady up my bow. So I, I don't know if it was weight in the right spot, a little bit of total weight, whatever it was, it really did help everything kind of zoop, you know? So the Canyon Pounder, I unboxed it. I got the footage for you on that already, but it's got a lot to it. Why do you think these are right here? Oh, baby. Dan's going to hey, practice. I just heard our friend Joel Turner. Our friend Joel Turner, Dan, tell him what Joel did. Joel was just on Joe Rogan's podcast. Which is amazing, amazing, guys. We've had Joel and Bodie, and they're both great people. But Joel was on, I've, I've been, I'm in the middle of the podcast, I'm three quarters of the way through, but Joel said at one point, he's like, you know, most people in a year only have five, maybe five shots where they have heavy, heavy pressure. And he's like, being on the line, shooting those faces is like, he said it was the closest thing he could get to the same kind of pressure he's trying to work through. Uh, what does he call it? Concentration practice, determination practice. Being on that line does a lot for, for getting those reps. And, and I feel that. I mean, when I was shooting next to you guys, it, it was another level of elevation that I had to like, you know, try to work through. That's such a well said point there for folks listening. And I'll translate to, dumb, I'll dumb it down. Joel told Joe Rogan, basically, Go shoot Vegas. Those Vegas faces and do it in Vegas or at a competition. Feel the pressure on that last end. You are duplicating high stakes, perceived pressure. That's going to translate for when you get, like how many elk do you actually get shots on a year? Or the big whitetail? You get maybe one if the stars align. And if you have no familiarity, familiarity? Familiarity. Familiarity. Yeah, familiarity with that situation, that butt pucker, that heart rate, that pen moving all over the place. How are you gonna like rise to a level you haven't trained at? So fall back to your highest level of training. Get yourself some high stakes shoots. That's why we do tack and talk so much crap and make a big deal. It's all pretend for us, in, at least for me, in my head, to that I gotta train for this, I gotta like compete, I gotta win. You're competing against yourself, you're trying to duplicate a scenario that uh, you wanna excel at. And that is for me, putting an arrow through both lungs of a big bull. Sending a few from downtown. Little 80 bombs. I'm getting closer. You are too. I have a hard time doing better than that. I'm that's really good. On that. That's so that's your 80 tick. That's your last one. Yep. Okay. I'd say based on that, that's your 80. I started low, kind of keep working my way up. These last two. Oh, you're very close on those. I'm, I'm close. So it's worth it for you to shoot one more, huh? Yeah, I'll do one more round, and then um, I'd like to finish at 100. We're not good enough to where they got to be hitting bullseyes that far, but we need like to shoot four or five arrows and have them trend in here, and then get. I need to get lots of breaks in between shots. I can't just shoot, 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 shoot. I gotta. I would always recommend you guys do a sight tape, print it, put it on there, but don't marry it. Date it for like three or four weeks, seriously, and then you'll start to like make little notes maybe in your phone of like, okay, at 82 and a half yards, I'm a little hot. And you make these little notes and then you finally get your sight tape. But who knew Excel landslide? So that was good. Who knew? Trying to acquire the final tick mark here for my sight tape. Two points are always good, but more points are better. So we went 20, 50, 80, 100. Uh, my arrows were this much low, but they were touching at 100, so. Touching tips? Yeah, there you go. So I think I'm gonna put my preliminary sight tape on. So Tim at 100's group and a little low. He's gonna shoot one more round. For me, I taught, this are my two shots at 100. Obviously the arrows are like literally touching. I'd say they're just a little low, but I'm pretty happy with that. I think Tim, we'll get Tim one more group here and get him close and get our sight tapes on. 
but I need you to nail this down and we'll actually do that today. I got extra sight tapes, I think, for us both. Yeah, so final final tick here. We're gonna try to make a few good shots from a hundy and uh, have an extra point to line up. That's pretty good. Back up just a smack, a quick little, yep, thank you. Close, right? Sick. That was my bullseye. That's close. Fente, cinco siente, ochuente. I forgot what a hundred is. Yeah, that's where I got my top pin right now. <laughs> that's perfect. Oh, oh! Is that it? I think so. It's a hundred. My 2050, my 80 will get me a tape. We got our elevation marks established, and as a bonus, I got to hit a little 3D archery event local in our area, in our hood, shoot some foam, and my sight tape was feeling right on. I don't want to jinx myself yet because it's early, but my sight tape's feeling good. 2023 is off to a great start. We're going to take down Dan, friends. It's a big year for all of us. We're on the road to 100K. As the kids say, smash the subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Let's get to 100K and unlock the world's greatest, freest archery event, community event to hang out with all of you. We'll catch you back here for the next one. Definitely shot the best I ever have on 3D today. So I think everything's coming together quite nicely. Quite nicely.